Hi, today I want to share with you the benchmark result for a comparison of two popular Node.js frameworks, Nest.js and Elysia.js. I will test them in different scenarios to evaluate their performance in various use cases. For this test, I deployed both frameworks using the most common setup for Node.js applications, running on a BAN-powered server for Elysia and the standard Node.js environment for Nest.js. I performed three separate tests to compare these technologies across different scenarios, aiming to understand how each performs in varied use cases. The first scenario is a basic test, an API road that returns a hard-coded response. The second scenario is closer to a real-world application, where an API road retrieves a random selection of 30 elements from a PostgreSQL database. The third scenario is an API road that generates GVT token. Let's take a look into our code. For the Nest.js application, I decided to put all the code into one controller. Here is the first case. Here is the second. And here is the third one. And this is the code for the Elysia.js application. I have put most of the code into the main index.js file. Here is the first case, here is the second one, and here is the third one. Now let's take a look into the database structure. I created pretty standard user table with fields like ID, name, email, password, some additional info and timestamps for records. Table has two indexes. ID is a primary key, and unique index for email field. To test both applications simultaneously, I deployed them on the cloud using DigitalOcean, which offers a reasonable pricing model and all the necessary features for this setup. Each application server runs on the smallest available instance with one CPU and 512 megabytes of RAM, allowing us to see how much performance we can achieve with minimal resources. For the database server, I used a larger instance to ensure that its performance wouldn't become a bottleneck during testing. I used Prometheus and Grafana on my local machine to monitor and visualize the performance metrics. Let's finally start our first test. At the beginning, we can see that metrics for Node.js are a little bit better. And now the CPU usage is starting to be a little bit bigger for the Nest.js application. And now BAN application starts to pull ahead in terms of requests per second. And latency metrics now look better for BAN as well. Let's wait and see the limit for both applications. At this moment, Lizzie.js failed a little fraction of incoming requests. And now I can see that Nest.js application has finally reached its limits. Let's wait for the Elysia.js to reach its limits as well. And finally, BAN application has reached its limits as well. Let's review the results. The clear winner in this test is Elysia running on BAN. It is almost two times better in terms of max RPS metric. It has five times less average latency than Node.js and almost four times better average P99 latency. But it consumes a little bit more memory. Let's move on to our second test case, which represents the real world scenario with database select. Right from the start, we can see that Elysia.js running on BAN is much faster and shows us better performance. At this point, I see that Nest.js has reached its limit. Let's wait to see what is the limit for the Elysia.js running on BAN. At this moment, both apps reached 100% of CPU load. Probably we will not get any more performance from them. Let's wait for them to start failing. And finally, we can see that Node.js app is starting to fail significantly. As we can see, BAN application is not growing its performance as well, so we can stop the test. Let's stop our test and review the results. So, in the real-world scenario, the Elysia.js running on BAN 
is three times better than NestJS running on Node in terms of max RPS and average latencies. But it still consumes a little bit more memory. Let's finally start our last test. Right from the beginning, BAN shows much better metrics and overall performance, so I am sure that it will be better in this test as well. Let's wait and see the results. And at this point, finally, Node.js starts to fail its request significantly. Let's wait to see what is the limit for BAN. From this moment I significantly increased the speed of the playback. Since Node.js is failing almost all of its requests, I will disable it and we will only monitor BAN. Test is finished, let's review the results. So in this final test, BAN shows incredible performance improvement almost 10 times in comparison to Node.js. It's huge. Also, the latency difference is significant as well. It's six times better for average latency and five times better for average P99 latency. In the end, the results show a clear performance winner in all tests. It's Elysia JS running on BAN. So if you need to maximize the performance of your Node.js application, it is worth considering BAN, which demonstrates significant improvements across all test cases especially in real-world scenarios like database selects and JWT token generation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with others. Let me know in the comments which framework do you prefer and if there are other benchmarks you would like to see. Also feel free to check out my Patreon and other resources linked below to support the channel. Stay tuned for more insights on development and architecture.